So much is happening on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and I'm not talking about on the show, I'm talking about online. Not only is Kathy Hilton shading Diana Jenkins, Lisa Renna says that she has Aspen receipts on Kathy Hilton, and Diana Jenkins is still targeting Garcelle. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So where should we begin first? As you know, on the last episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, it seemed that a new alliance was forming between Kathy Hilton, Garcelle, and Sutton. No one saw that coming. However, you know, the Aspen trip is about to happen, and Kathy Hilton needs all the allies she can get, according to what they're saying she might have said. Well, before we get into Aspen, let's talk about Diana, <laughs> Madam Diana New Money, New Money Jenkins. So she took to social media and she posted this photo of the group at this whole Lisa Rena beauty party. And someone in the comments section says, well, Bravo Devotee says in the comment section, every episode you talk, I forget you're a castmate. Kathy Hilton replies to this person, not to Diana Jenkins, she replies to the person, me too, laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji, and then a little bit of a laughing with hearts emoji. And I know what you're probably thinking. She's probably going to blame this on her eyesight. She's probably going to blame this on her not being all there. No, I think Kathy Hilton knows exactly what she's doing, or she has an assistant that knows exactly what they're doing. So Diana Jenkins, it doesn't stop there. So a lot of people have been saying that Diana has been focusing on Garcelle a lot this weekend in regards to social media. So you may recall Garcelle made a joke in her confessional that the group text message that Diana sent to everyone and shaded Garcelle, she was like, and she spelled my name incorrectly. Garcelle without the last E. So Diana apparently decided to share that message on social media and she wrote the caption, hmm, my grammar and spelling might be off for sure, but bottom line is I lost my baby at 18 week pregnancy in most violent way and nearly died in the process and I am ridiculed for spelling someone's name. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm correcting the English here. Fascinating what, quote, fan favorite get away with. Go on, trolls. Do your worst. Oh, wait, you already did that. She's always deflecting. She's always deflecting. Look, we all, you losing your baby, having a miscarriage is terrible. No one's saying anything, anything about that. At least I'm not. I understand the Bravo universe has some very dark holes in it. But uh, that's not what we've been saying. But I'm, apparently you're not talking to us. You're talking, you're targeting Garcelle for what reason? Like Garcelle is telling these people to do it? She doesn't stop there. She reposts what another Twitter user said on social media. Mar oh, Martini's with Eddie. He says Diana Googling Garcelle and he puts in the incorrect spelling. G-A-R-C-E-L-L -L without the last E. Garcelle responds and says, laughing out loud, not the misspelled version. So she reposts that. We all are just wondering, Diana, why you even started targeting Garcelle. You said that you wanted to be Garcelle's friend, but here you are on the show in this last episode. Out of nowhere, we're talking about one completely other thing, and you're bringing up, Garcelle, I feel like you're the most guarded one. And we could sit here and blame editing, and oh, this, that's not how it all happened. I'm not sure if that's what she's blaming, but I'm just keeping that in mind. Editing can make things look awkward. But you've been awkward, Diana, since the beginning of this. Because we're all like, oh, you're just trying to have a moment. And it's not interesting. And producers, why exactly did you make her a housewife? So far, she's brought nothing. Oh, because she targeted fan favorites on the show? Based on what we've gotten so far from Diana Jenkins, I am dumbfounded that she was made a full-time housewife. Because she's giving, not even friend of vibes, she's giving me guest appearance vibes. But that's me. But let's move on. Lisa Renna has decided to take to social media this weekend because she knows this week coming up, she's forever a producer too. She knows this week coming up, we're going to get the whole Aspen trip. And as you know, there have been so many different rumors that Kathy Hilton said something very problematic, even 
homophobic, allegedly, or racist, allegedly, during this Aspen trip. And a lot of us have been saying, you know what, Kathy Hilton has, her family has a history of things. So we're not, we're not blinded to Kathy Hilton, okay? However, we're also not blinded to Lisa Renna's problematic history. I have a whole video on it. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. So, and that was a recent video that we did on Lisa Renna. But the last time Lisa Renna said that she had receipts, we all were like, <laughs> Sutton Strack had real receipts, literal receipts. Sutton, sidebar, you better get ready for this reunion. You might need some more receipts. Because no matter how much you love Lisa Renna, she doesn't love you and she doesn't have your back. She will throw you under a bus at this reunion if it means saving her job. So Lisa decided to take to her social media yesterday and posted in her Instagram stories this. Aspen receipts. And it looks like it's an envelope. And she labeled it absent. Your life must be so sad. So sad that you are sitting on receipts at home and you're posting it before you drop the receipts. It's To me, it's so sad. And she labels this Instagram story with the picture Silence is golden. We wish you would be more silent. We really do. We really do. Her next Instagram story is a meme of her where she says, you better believe I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> Look, I'm keeping an open mind. I want to see all of what plays out in Aspen. I want to see everything that Lisa Renna has in regards to Kathy Hilton. But at this point, Kathy Hilton hasn't really done much on this show for us to be like, ah, get her. But I'm keeping an open mind. I'm keeping an open mind. And even as she said terrible things about Kyle, I know plenty of people be like, well, it's the truth about Kyle. <laughs> Especially after this weekend when Kyle decided to sick her minion, Teddy, I can't, the gnat on Lisa Vanderpump and alluding that Lisa did not have a relationship with her brother. And I know Teddy decided to take the social media and was like, oh, um, now I'm getting death threats. Look, again, dark holes in this Bravo universe. I'm not one of those people. I'm not giving you, you death threats. I don't believe in, in any of that stupidity. However, all it would take, be like, you know what? I, I spoke out of, out of turn. I, I apologize. But no, she doubles down. Tamara Judge, though, did apologize. Tamara, you're going to get yourself in trouble doing this podcast with that one. <sighs> <laughs> Guys, I didn't expect to be talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on this Sunday, but let's continue this conversation below. I want to know your reaction to all of this mess. And do you think that Lisa Renna really has any sort of receipts on from this Aspen trip? And if they are better, they better not be a big womp 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 womp. womp. I'm willing to say I'm wrong. I just said it the other day, but I have a feeling that I won't be. Guys, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.